viewers, welcome to another exciting edition of this week in 5 Minutes News Bulletin on Ghana District TV. Do expect some stories that are making headlines in Ghana and elsewhere. My name is Mawena Wakate. Please stay tuned for the headlines. National Council of Nalak says it remains resolute about efforts to improve welfare of its members. Advertile residents take steps to prevent flood-related deaths in the community. Also, Heritage FM to the rescue of special school. On some national issues, Ghanaians express shock and disappointment at Ekufuado's recent ministerial reshuffle. And in entertainment, Big Aquais physically assault Frank Nero in public. Please say, don't go away. The Executive Council of the National Association of Local Authorities of Ghana, NALAG, has formed a new legal reforms and welfare subcommittees to oversee the association's constitutional amendments and ensure the general welfare of members. President of NALAG, Nanajiman Prempe, revealed this when speaking at the inauguration of various subcommittees of the association. There are some reforms, like I spoke about, uh, uh, constitutional, our constitutional amendment as an association. These are all to bring some form of reforms into their association. And then welfare, of course. Assembly members have a lot of issues, right? From motorbikes, from... You've been hearing assembly members crying for salaries, which is not so possible, but at least there can be some allowances and whatever to assembly members. The people of Avetile and Jake, led by the District Chief Executive for South Dai, Godwin Dajawa, have organized a communal labor to desilt the tunnels of the bridge over river Amimli at Avetili. The DC said the measure is to prevent further loss of lives due to flooding. Some number of years now, the river has been choked and the river cannot flow. So it overflowed through the bridge. And as a result of that, it kills about five people in the community. We decided to organize a communal labor today so that we desilt, the, uh, we desilt under the bridge, that we can have a free flow from the top to the down. A fundraising and sword cutting ceremony to build a wall around the special inclusive school at Abanu was held on Tuesday during which the MCE for Pando, Jeffrey Badasu, made a personal donation of 500 Ghana cities while the assembly supported with 30 bags of cement. Director of Heritage FM appeals for support to complete the project successfully. The headmaster of this school appealed to me that they need a fence wall because two of their children got drawn in the Pando Toko. And so we came around, we saw the school, I went to the MCE and with his ABO team, uh, they, are, they bought into the idea and today this is where we, uh, we are and today the assembly started by donating 30 bags. Some Ghanaians have expressed shock and disappointment at the president's recent reshuffle of ministers. My colleague Susanna Danso interacted with them. To me, they make me nothing different because it's within them now. No matter, I show my home. Nothing changes. Well, you are here in a very shuffle. I took a bit of that. The ministers from more more resign. So, on the opinion of my opinion, the bread and Tina, what do you think of for a shame? And you are running pay. So, the real best is home. Entertainment news is up next. Tension heightened and things escalated so fast when two Kumawood actors, Big Aquais and Frank Nero, met in person for the first time following their feud on social media. Frank Nero was physically attacked by his colleague Big Aquais when he was asked to give him a handshake after days of hot exchange of words on social media. And this is the end of this week in 5 Minutes News Bulletin on Ghana District TV. For more information, you can interact with us on our various social media handles at Ghana District or visit ghanadistrict.com. My name is Mawena Wakati. See you same day next week.